But I'm like, yeah, I do a little bit of this. I do a little bit of that. She was like, first of all, stop. You're an artist. And I was like, mm. she's like, you are an artist. And that's it. Like, that's it. You know? And I was like, oh. Okay, I'm an artist, okay. Again, just seeing black women take up space um, in predominantly white spaces, it, it makes me feel like I too belong, right? I too can have a seat at that table or I too can make my own table. Like, I don't gotta be there. Hello, and thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I hope, you know, things are running smoothly for you. Um, okay, before I even start, <laughs> I just wanna premise this by saying that like, this is not scripted. This is just like a train of thought. And um, I just wanted to share with you guys because I'm like, I be having these reflections. I'm in my feelings. Um, a lot of things are happening. A lot of things are like turning around in my life for me um, and for people that inspire me. People are winning. It's just like life is great right now. So I just was like, you know, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about it. This morning while I was driving in, I was just thinking about like black women, right? I'm thinking about representation. I'm thinking about black women in, in predominantly white spaces and just how dope that is and how groundbreaking it is and just how much representation matters. And today we're gonna specifically talk about um, the arts, but like we have like a, a black woman as like a vice president right now, you know what I mean? So like a little black girl before could be like, yeah, I'm gonna be vice president one day and maybe, you know, hold on to that conviction and you know, God will open that door. But to now it just, now it just feels much more tangible. And I think that I've been having these kind of moments where like, I used to think that like, oh my gosh, I'm, you know, I'm dreaming big. I'm like, okay, God, I want to do this. Oh God, I want to do that. And it's a, a predominantly white space. And I'm like, but I'm going to be there, right? I'm going to have my seat at the table, if you will. Um, but like when I see that a black woman is doing it, I'm like, oh my God, it just feels, I don't know. I hope it makes sense. It just, it feels much more tangible. The reason why I'm having this super introspective moment is because of a filmmaker and digital creator here on YouTube named Halise. So I've kind of like, I followed the traje tra 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 trajectory <laughs> of her YouTube career. And um, a, a few days ago, she announced that she um, was selected as an Adobe Creative Resident. So today is a big day, real big day. This channel is gonna get revamped. I am also getting a revamp. And so to celebrate, I'm gonna try to create some new headshots, some new portraits of myself because when you find out that you're an Adobe Creative Resident, you, you gotta change a few things up. You gotta switch some stuff up. But I do need to get a few things, so let's get into this. And tell me why I'm literally like crying, like it happened to me. I'm like, oh my gosh, we did it. <laughs> we did it. But like, this is something that I'm aspiring towards, right? I'm giving myself three to four years to, to build up a worthwhile portfolio to be able to, you know, truthfully pitch myself and be like, Adobe, what's good? Um, but to see that a black woman is like doing it. And obviously she's not the first like black woman to be like an Adobe creative resident. Last year, one of the residents last year, her name is like Christina, I believe. Super dope, her work. She does like photography and, and um, her work is just like the symbolism behind it super duper dope but like this is somebody that like you know what i'm saying like i've been watching her on youtube forever and now she's doing this thing right and she and her work is valued and um she's she's just giving the resources and the time and the mentorship and the connection to, to do something super duper dope again this is something that i want to do in three or four years but seeing somebody that i look up to doing it now i'm like wow like that's so cool um i can think of uh dion ivory mahanila um stephanie namani like these like followed them on visco right they're visco days and i'm like now they're like opening international shows, right? And Dion has the body, um, an entire 501c3, and she's doing amazing things. And I think she has like a solo show somewhere in the world somewhere right now. But like, I'm having my Visco days. Does that make sense? Like, I hope it makes sense because it's like, ah! <laughs> I'm having my Visco days right now, right? So where am I gonna be in three, four, five, ten 10 years, you know? Um, again, just seeing black women take up space um, in predominantly white spaces, it 
it makes me feel like I too belong, right? I too can have a seat at that table or I too can make my own table. Like I don't gotta be there. You know, I can pave my own path and I can do things differently and um, I can hold on to that conviction that I have and it feels much more tangible. I feel like that's really what I'm trying to get to, like accessibility and it just feels more tangible when you see that someone that you look up to or somebody that looks like you has done or is doing the thing, it feels like you two, you're already there, you know? Just think about like black women who have inspired me online and obviously in my community, right? Right here in Worcester, in my church, in my communities, people that have prayed with me, that have stood with me, that have literally sown, whether it's monetary stuff into what I'm doing or prayed with me or cried with me, celebrated with me. It's just so important. Quick testimony, um, in 2017, I wanna say winter 2017, I attended an artist workshop. And at the time, like I was blogging, I was like doing YouTube, like a little bit of everything. And I think that's when I was like, maybe I wanna do photography, but I was like kinda just starting into like self-portraiture and stuff. Anyways, I attended this artist workshop. I don't know how I found it, right? God be working like that. And I just show up and I'm like, yeah. And it's like, yeah, people are like, I've been a painter for da da da. I've done calligraphy for a billion years. I've done this, I've done that. And I'm like, I think I have a blog and a YouTube channel, but I, I'm kind of interested in, in writing, but I'm not a writer. I take pictures, but I'm not a photographer. I make videos, but I'm not a, a video maker person. <laughs> and the the black lady who was leading the workshop, Toby Sison, um, she's amazing. She's amazing here in Worcester. I don't know if you've ever heard of her, but. I don't know, I don't think she has an online presence, but she's so dope. Check out her website. I'll see if I can find it for you. But she is an amazing artist. She's done countless lectures. She's had, um, I mean, countless solo shows. She has pieces that are part of permanent collections and museums here in Worcester and around Massachusetts. I don't know, around the US, around the world, I don't know. But anyway, she's amazing, right? And here I am at this workshop. This woman has never seen my work because I didn't bring a sample of anything. I just showed up like, is this free? Okay, I'm here. <laughs> She didn't see my work. She doesn't. She didn't see what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know. If she. Well, I don't know what she saw. But I'm like, yeah. I do a little bit of this. I do a little bit of that. She was like, first of all, stop. You're an artist. And I was like, mm. she's like, you are an artist. And that's it. Like that's it. You know. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm an artist. Okay. And I needed that. I needed this black woman to check me. <laughs> You know, and this is something I still struggle with, right? The title, and it feels like it just bears so much weight, but for somebody to affirm me without even seeing my work, and that was at a time when I didn't know what I was doing, right? At that workshop, I was like, okay then, like, let me see if I can make a connection. And then I like pitched myself to the program manager, and then summer 2018, I was at Arts Worcester um, as a marketing summer intern. But it really started out because this black woman was like, no, you're super dope. I don't see your work. I don't know what you do, but you seems like you got you seem like you got something going for you, you know. And then and then that's when well during my time at Arts Worcester, like that it was that word that you know reaffirmed me again. And like I was part of their shows, right? I did a few shows, even if I was printing it at Walgreens. <laughs> I had my face on the wall, like my unkempt edges on the wall, um, on a few shows. Me being part of um, what's it called? Ah, what's it called? I don't remember what it was called. Call and response. And my photo, my portrait of Lika was like chosen to be at Fitchburg Art Museum, right? I'm just super grateful. Like you just don't know. You just don't know how you impact somebody's life, you know? Especially as an online creator. Um, I'm not saying I'm impacting anybody's life. I'm just saying, I'm, me, I'm super inspired by other people all the time. My friends obviously doing cool things, but also like people that I look up to online um, and their wins or like my wins, you know? Um, and that leads to another testimony. There's another artist. <laughs> that I follow on Instagram. Her name is Nostalgia. I should have pulled it up. But she does like amazing textile work. Nostalgia E. Swift on Instagram. I'll have it linked below. But she does this amazing, um, these dolls, that's how I discovered her. And the attention to detail, like she'll have like the lips, the hair, like different hairstyles. It's just so amazing. But she, she shared a post 
sharing that um, she did an artist residency in Massachusetts and it like changed her life and it changed her work. I'm like, which, which Massachusetts, which one? <laughs> so I look into the artist residency that she did and I'm like, oh, this looks cool. And I would have never, I would have never found out about it. It was right here under my nose the entire time, right? So I go on their website and I saw that their application for 2021 would open in two weeks. That was back in March. Um, and I was like, she did it, so I can too. You know, like it's that simple. It's magical. Black girl magic. And it wasn't like, I'm gonna apply for this artist residency because I got the talent, I got a portfolio and they're gonna accept me, period. But it was like, somebody that looks like me did this, right? And she was welcome, she was invited, she got a seat at the table. Maybe I can try and see, you know, who knows what can happen. So I applied for the artist residency and a few days ago I got my letter, I got accepted. And again, just because I saw that somebody who looks like me did this, got this opportunity, me too. I'm like, let me throw my hat in the ring. And, and now I'm doing the things, you know? And so, like I said, I'm just having a super introspective moment where I'm like, things are moving in my life and I'm, a, I'm, I'm challenging myself creatively because some people that I look up to did it. These people that I bump into, um, it's not by chance, right? It's like divine orchestration. I truly believe it. Like, who knew that I would just go to an artist workshop and meet Toby Sison and then she would just speak into my life and the next thing you know, I have a piece in the museum. That I would just, this girl that I've been following on Instagram forever, just supporting her art, she would share something and then now I'm doing the, the same artist residency that she did. I say this all the time, like one prayer that I'm praying is for God to connect me to the people who are like, aligned to my destiny part of my journey whether it's for a season whatever it's for and i feel like that i feel like that with Halise. she don't know me she's online but watching her inspires me dion mahanila stephanie adrian um toby nastasia christina like evelyn all these people i'm just inspired I'm just inspired. This was supposed to be about like black women in representation and I hope I hope I did it justice because my thoughts are all over the place, but I'm just super grateful for, for I'm, I don't know what I'm grateful for. I'm just grateful to be here, to have breaths, to have life and, and to be walking one step closer to purpose, right? And God is connecting me to super dope people. So yeah. I don't know. I'm going to stop here because I've been talking for too long and I'm nervous. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to keep you guys updated on, on stuff that's happening in my life. And um, yeah, I'll catch y'all next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>